I recently talked to an artist friend of mine by phone. Over the past decade, James Stewart has made paintings about republics that have failed or were crushed. One subject was Germany's Weimar Republic that fell to the Nazis. There were two sides that were at each other's throat. And at the same time, there was all this possibility of freedoms and human rights, and it all came apart. When James sent me a photo of his new 60 by 94 inch painting, it took my breath away. I call it January 6th. We are tearing ourselves apart. James, do you see us taking the same road that the Germans did? Like most Americans, we thought we were totally immune to such a thing. But we are in a time of peril. I kept thinking, my parents were Republican. They would have been stunned by this behavior. There was no way that their Republicanism would have allowed such a thing. It's stunning that no matter how extreme the right is getting, there's not a pushback. I understand that the left has an extreme, but I always feel like there's a pushback there. I just don't feel that from the right anymore. Tell me about the style you chose to depict these characters. And looking at photographs of what was happening on January 6th, I was thinking how similar they were to Enzer's Christ coming into Brussels. They were caricaturing themselves, both in the way that they were dressing and behaving. I was always a little bit thrown by caricature because I felt like there was a certain meanness to it to take somebody's physical aspects that they're not responsible for and to make fun of it. But I've realized too that there's a type of caricature that caricatures a behavior. I felt like the behavior was a choice these people were making. And I feel like they earn the right to be caricatured. They earn that right. In addition to the general mob, you have a real rogues gallery of well-known names in this painting. I joke that as somebody gets subpoenaed, I would include them. But in actuality, I started including people like Carlson, and the three congressmen, Gates and Green and Bobart, Giuliani and Sidney Powell, Roger Stone, Mike Flynn and Jim Jordan, Alex Jones, and Mike Lindell, Steve Bannon, are you going to publicly exhibit this painting? I deal with two galleries, one in Philadelphia and one in New York. I thought that they would want to stay away from it, but I asked my dealer in New York if he would be interested, and he is, so I am going to ship it up to Gallery 71 on Lexington and 71st. How do you want people to react? Do you hope it makes a difference? I do want to emphasize that I am a painter, I'm not a politician. I don't have the illusion that this is going to change anybody's mind. No matter how righteous my cause, my priority is to have made something visual, something that is interesting to look at. My goal is not that I would change somebody's mind, but somebody that would totally disagree with me would still look at the painting and find it interesting. I have deep respect for James Stewart, both for his art and his ideals. I asked him for a prediction. 
The Weimar Republic oftentimes gets used for our time period, and so there is that nervous aspect of, are we at that point? I don't think that we are. I do think that there's an evil out there, a win at all cost, and all cost means damn the democracy just to win. But I do hope, and I think I've got grounds to hope, that we won't go that far. From your lips to God's ears.